Good afternoon, everybody. Um, rather sad news from police perspective. At uh, around about eight o'clock this morning, police were called to uh, a unit at Barnes Road at Glind, um, along with police and paramedics at this location. Um, tragically, we found a deceased male and a female within the unit. There is a, currently a police investigation underway with regard to the deaths of both people. And um, at this stage, we can determine that we believe it is a murder-suicide. Um, and at this stage, we believe the man has taken his, uh, sorry, has killed potentially his wife and then taken his own life. Our police are still at the scene and it is an ongoing investigation to determine the circumstances of what has occurred. But uh, it, it appears rather tragic. Sorry. What are the ages of the... Uh, they're both 92 years of age. How long did they live there? Uh, that I don't know. Did they have a history, were they known to police, that was there a history of domestic violence there? No, there's nothing to indicate. Um, we are in the early stages of a police investigation, but there's nothing to indicate uh, anything adverse in that respect. Is euthanasia being investigated as a possible death? Cause of death? Uh, you'll need to explain yourself. Is euthanasia part of the investigation? It's a very broad investigation to determine the cause of death of both parties. But uh, when I say one simply taking the other person's life, is a, the, using the term euthanasia, I don't know if that's appropriate or consistent, other than to say it is an investigation. Do you know if either of them had any medical conditions? Uh, we don't know that at this early stage of the investigation. A strong smell of gas was reported by neighbours. Is that a contributing factor? No, uh, under the circumstances, the Metropolitan Fire Service were called by police. And that was to determine there was a smell of gas, but has, it's not a uh, implicating factor in this. The police aren't aware if they had a rocky relationship? No, none of those circumstances. Uh, the background in regard to the two parties, I have nothing on that. Were there weapons used in this? Uh, I, I won't go into the investigation as part of, the, of what's actually occurred with regard to that uh, at this stage. Have you spoken to any family members of this couple? Yes, we have. So uh, we've made family members aware. As you can imagine, this is very tragic for a family. Can you confirm if there are any kids they have the couple that children or...? I can confirm there are um, children to these uh, elderly parents. How are they located? Um, it's a normal... Uh, it's a, the place they're located with it is in Lutheran nursing homes. So there's been a normal follow-up, as you would imagine, in a nursing home is to, you know, in the morning um, with one of the occupants. Uh, by the uh, staff of the nursing home. Does that mean that it's likely to have happened in the last 24 hours? Um, I can't determine at this stage when it's actually occurred. Um, I don't have the details on that. Do you have another last scene by anybody else? Uh, look, that'll be determined by part of the investigation, but at this stage I don't have those details. What was it then that ultimately tipped police off to this um, and to the woman in that nursing home? Oh, we were actually called to that location by staff from the nursing home. What was it that made them concerned? Oh, no, no, they were simply checking on their um, clientele. Thank you.